Are you interested in deploying the Workspaces Cost Optimizer into highly regulated environments that does not have internet connectivity? I'm Dave Jasky, Senior Solution Architect, and joined by Rob Fountain, Senior Solution Architect. And in this video, we'll walk you step by step through the entire process of deploying the Workspaces Cost Optimizer into environments without internet connectivity. If you're interested in learning more about the Workspaces Cost Optimizer and how it can help with your workspace deployments, Rob and I covered this topic in a separate YouTube video with the link below. With that, let's get started. Thanks, Dave. In order to build the solution, there are a few prerequisites that will need to be in place. First, you'll need to install the cost optimizer for Amazon Workspaces and have it deployed into a separate, dedicated VPC. For instructions on how to install the cost optimizer, see the description for a link to one of our other videos. You will also need communication established between your cost optimizer VPC and your Workspaces VPC. You can use either a transit gateway, attachment, or VPC peering. You'll also need a local Docker environment and the AWS CLI. Let's get started. The cost optimizer uses an image in a public ECR repository. In order to utilize this in highly regulated environments, we will need to create our own ECR repository and copy the public image into that. This also means that you will be responsible for maintaining and updating the image when necessary. We will use the AWS CLI to create our repository. Note that we are deploying this solution in the US East 1 region. However, you may deploy this in any supported region by changing the region in your CLI commands. Note the repository URL after you execute the CLI command. Once the repository is created, navigate to the Amazon ECR public gallery and find the cost optimizer repository. Copy the repository URL and open your terminal window. We will use the Docker CLI to pull the image into our local environment. Once that's complete, run the Docker images command and copy the image ID of the Docker image you just cloned. Tag the image with the Docker tag command, log into your repository with the CLI and push your image to the newly created repository. Next, you will need to create VPC endpoints for each of the services utilized by the cost optimizer. The VPC endpoints allow private connectivity between your VPC and the AWS services it utilizes. Before we create the endpoints, we need to gather some information about our VPC. Copy both subnet IDs of your private subnets, your VPC ID, as well as your security group ID that was created when you deployed the cost optimizer. We'll use this information to create our VPC endpoints. We will need to create several endpoints. We will use the CLI to generate a JSON structure for our endpoints and use that output to create individual JSON files to easily create our endpoints. Copy the JSON and open your favorite text editor. Paste the contents and modify it for each of the nine VPC endpoints we will create. This is what the VPC endpoint for our ECR repository would look like. Note the subnet IDs, security group ID, and the VPC ID that we copied from the previous step. Create JSON files for each of the nine endpoints we will be creating. You can pause the video for a list of interface and gateway endpoints required. Once completed, create the VPC endpoints using the CLI. There are several additions and modifications that we will need to make to permissions. Starting with our S3 VPC endpoint, we need to add permission for the endpoint to allow access to the starport layer bucket. The starport layer bucket is a managed bucket that contains the layers for your Docker image. Let's update the S3 gateway endpoint policy to allow access. We also need to allow inbound SSL and DNS access to our security group that was created when you deployed the cost optimizer. Finally, we need to add some additional statements to the policy attached to our IAM role that was created when the cost optimizer was deployed. From the IAM console, find the role and modify the policy. We will be adding a statement similar to the S3 VPC endpoint policy, allowing access to the starport layer bucket. We will also be adding a statement so the role can pull from our private ECR repository. When you have completed the additions, save your changes.
the task assigned to our ECS cluster needs to be modified to point to our new ECR repository. From the ECS console, select Tasks and find the WCO task in the list. Select the task, select the latest revision, and select Create New Task Definition. Scroll to the Container section and update the image URI with the URI from your private repository. Change the environment variable Send Anonymous Data to False. Add an additional environment variable with the name AWS underscore STS underscore regional underscore endpoints and set the value to regional. Then select Create. Lastly, you need to update your event bridge rule that triggers the cost optimizer to utilize the latest task revision you just created. From the event bridge console, select rules, find the cost optimizer rule and select it. Select the targets tab and select edit. Scroll to the revision field and select the revision number you created in the last step and save your changes. Now, when the tasks run nightly, it will use the newest revision and pull the image from your private ECR repository. At this point, the cost optimizer is set to run without the need for an internet connection. The task will run on schedule as defined in your EventBridge rule and will send the data to your S3 bucket for review. For more information about the cost optimizer, as well as links to our YouTube channel, please see the description and subscribe to this channel for more updates. Thank you.